Also, uh, minor issue is that my B button on my 3DS seems to not want to work as well. Hi there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. And things might look a little bit different than they did previously. That is because, as I have probably already included, or maybe I'll just do it right now, ah, my 3DS is broken. And I didn't know how broken it was. The B button flat out cut out working, and I had all the tools to fix it. I open it up and find out that multiple that inside. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, it's been a while since I've recorded, that was a major flub. Multiple things inside got seriously messed up, and I cannot fix it. I've replaced the case and everything else. The problem is that one of the uh, attachments that holds the uh, bottom screen connector in is it literally crumbled to dust. I I take it off, and I'd heard some like rattling sound, and that's what that was. It came off and just broke into like ten different pieces. I guess. It's just all the mistreatment over the years. But we're back on an emulator at eight times resolution, and this is what the game, these are what the models look like now. I could I could turn it back to how it was before and have everything normal, but honestly, I kind of like being able to see everything. It, it's, it's different and weird, and I enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy it. So I replayed the entire game up until this point. We are on the 22nd of spring, and things are going to be a little bit different, and I guess we'll be cutting right into this. I'm not sick like I was supposed to be, and that's because I kind of forgot to get sick. So last night I just stayed up too late to get tired. And that'll be fine. Um, our fields are very different than they were previously, because I wasn't trying to figure out everything that I had done with that. It would appear my pink melon is done. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm going to meet you guys back in just a second once I've finished uh, watering all my crops. There we go. Good enough. Now, these are all my crops, as you saw in that little speed up thing. I didn't bother trying to keep them the same. It's not too important. You do things the way you want to do them. But, my inventory is quite a bit different, my ship list is different, everything's different, so we'll be going over all this. And a huge thing that's different, this. So this right here is what it looked like previously, and now here it is back to where we were. I am a good bit stronger than I was previously. I just am doing well for myself, everything's good and great and fantastic so I'm I'm happy with that one downside I forgot to start growing grass earlier so my monsters aren't as happy with me I just recently got feed and so the monsters are only down at level three and four Sylvie's not as indestructible as he was last episode I'm sorry it makes me sad but he's still strong enough to take down anything so that's good with me. It's already 10 a.m., so let's start talking with everyone. First, Jake from State Farm. Don't you ever give it a rest. This country is called the Kingdom of Norad. It's not a very large country, but it's a prosperous and peaceful one. Just, but just because it's peaceful doesn't mean I can stop training. Morning. There's Tanya. Good morning, Kyle. In the East, they have a saying, a wound inflicted by a strong will does not heal easily. I'm not sure why, but apparently those kinds of wounds do have a tendency not to heal. I wouldn't like that, would you? That's fair. Yeah, that would be very unfortunate. There's our good friend, Julia. Only friend. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Actually, I'm really afraid of skulls. I can't stand them, just like with the last episode. I try to get everyone about to the same friendship that they were before. Everyone, I haven't done any extra quests over what I was doing previously, but I did forget to do one quest, which I will take care of in just a minute. Thanks. 
All right. Into the part shop. General store. Morning. Morning, kid. <coughs> <coughs> oh, wow. Okay. Apparently I have a frog in my throat. Good morning, Douglas. What a nice morning. Hey, I ever tell you about my, my birthday is the second of spring, kid? There's his daughter, Mana. Have you found a four-leaf clover yet? Yeah, I've, no, I haven't. Not for you, at least. I'll go cancel that quest. Good morning. morning. Don't you ever have anything to do? Barrett, when's your birthday? What's it to you? It's the fifth of spring. Do you have a problem with that? No, no, we don't. We love you, Barrett. Good morning. I don't think I have any char to give you right now. Good morning. And her birthday was yesterday, so we, you know, should be good with her now. Okay, we're gonna cancel this. Um. No, that's not the one. Oh, I haven't done two quests. Okay, well, we'll go do this now. The first quest is for Natalie, and it's Delivery Boy Wanted, which we'd already done. We also hadn't done her next quest after this, which was getting Roy to take a shot. Okay, well, oops. I'm heading that direction anyway, so it should be fine. I'll meet you guys in just a second once I finish these quests. <clears throat> Thanks, Kyle. You're such a big help. I'll let you know if I need you again. Alright. We're done with those quests again. We're back up to where we were. So, we're gonna be questing. First off... Uh, no, I'll do something else for now. Alicia. I have a favor to ask you. Can you keep this just between the two of us? I don't think I've done this one. I... I don't think so, at least. I'm pretty sure I did the last one. Which is where she needs something for her predictions. Kyle, you're here! I've been waiting for you! I have another favor to ask of you. I want you to go talk with Cece. Just talk with Cecilia? That's it? Yes, if any, and if you can, try to say something charming. Something to make her feel weak at the knees, you know what I mean? What? No way! <laughs> oh, come on. What kind of favor is this, anyway? Well, can you keep a secret? Uh, sure, I guess. Cece had me read her love fortune. I told her that she would soon be approached by a handsome man. Oh, I get it. And there aren't that many young men in Elvarna's, you see. I just know Barrett and Jake refuse to do it, and Max doesn't have the backbone. There's always Ray, but really, this isn't something I'd want my little brother to do. So that's how I set up on you for the job, Kyle. Got it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I see your dilemma, but... Great, now go talk with Cece. I'll even give you a whole 200 G if you do it for me. Um, can I ask you one question? What is it? This... It's not really fortune-telling anymore if I do this, is it? You just don't understand fortune-telling at all, do you, Kyle? It's all in the results. As long as the fortune is, in the, is right in the end, who cares how it happened? Uh, if you say so. Okay then, off with you. I'm counting on you. Alright, well, I guess let's go talk to Cecilia. We have to give her daily gift anyway. So, first things first. A gift! Thank you. Oh, Kyle, is there anything I can do for you? Well, no, it, nothing that you can do for me, but I was wondering if I could talk to you. To me? What about? Um, nothing important. I just thought we should talk about, uh, stuff. <laughs> I get it. At least she asked you, didn't she? What? How do you know? That's what her reading said. I thought it'd be Ray or someone, but I'm surprised to see it's you. Sorry if you're disappointed. Sorry if you're disappointed. No, it's okay. You're a nice guy, Kyle. Most people would tell Alicia to get lost. <laughs> I do find it hard to say no to her. I know what you mean. She's my friend and a good person. Yeah. I'll be sure to tell her reading was accurate. Thank you. Feel free to come over to talk anytime you want, Kyle. It doesn't have to be because Alicia asked you. Oh, okay, sure. I mean, it worked out. <laughs> Dumpy stranger. I'll be coming back here anyway. Alicia! I did my job! Well, did you talk to Cece? Yes. Thank you, now my reading came true. Here's your reward, as I promised. 
200G. Thanks again. If I need anything else, I'll let you know. And... Good morning. Morning, Kyle. Good morning, Alicia. Hey, Kyle, do you know when my birthday is? No, I don't. Oh, I guess I never told you. Thanks for telling us! <laughs> Alright, what's the weather for tomorrow? I see it. Tomorrow will be sunny. Okay, that's 10G. Thanks for your business. Please come again. Thank you. Come again. Alright. So, Natalie wants a house sitter. Cecilia wants somebody to stay over, which is a two-day thing, so no. Jake wants somebody to come see them, unless they're a chicken. Egan wants Cecilia to, to go get Cecilia for something. Rosalind needs a scientific research assistant. Julia wants somebody to test out soap, which sounds about right for me, to be honest. I'm having trouble with somebody. Um... This would be the easiest one. And I say easiest one because I already have it on me. <laughs> Diamonds are something I have some of, so... I think I have one on me, right? I don't have to head home. Uh, yep. Perfect. Yep. I'll stop by these places later. I'll talk to Egan for the good moment, morning. though. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Have you already made some friends in this town, Kyle? I'm fairly close with Herman and Mayor Byron. Alright. Hi, Kyle! It's good to see you! By the way, I have a favor to ask of you. Could you bring me a diamond? You should be able to find a diamond if you go to the Padova Mountains. Thanks as always! Uh, yeah, sure. Here's a diamond right here. Thank you, Kyle! I knew I could rely on you! Here, your reward! 700G. Sorry to bother you again, but... <laughs> yeah, a very easy quest. Thanks again! I knew I could count on you! So you just go mining at the mountains, and eventually when you get a diamond, you accept the request and then turn it in. Good morning! Good morning, Kyle! Hey, Kyle! Rumor has it that if you stay in front of the clinic at midnight, you can see ghosts. Wanna check it out? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to take a rain check. Ha! Ah, I get it! You're scared because you don't have any courage! Rude! Also, I'm assuming I don't, but I don't have... Oh, I do! Gift time! Yay! I love this! Okay. Um, have I talked to Byron yet today? Morning. Morning, Kyle. Hard work starts in the morning, doesn't it, Kyle? That's all well and good, but be sure to take a break every once in a while too, okay? Alright. On to the next request. We should probably take care of our fields for the day before we do any more requests. So I'm gonna accept this, go talk to Mana, and then start working out in the fields. So be right back. Or just bless you, Island. Yeah, just bless you. Just, just bless you. Okay. These are what my Blessia fields look like now. Two fields of, uh, pineapple. Two fields of the flowers. I figure I'll replace them with other things later, at least the flowers. But I wanted to get my hands on those a little bit earlier. I don't actually remember. I think those are tomatoes, and these ones are actually more pineapples. They're both ones I got from requests. And everything's been watered. So, I have confirmed at this point that mining level only seems to affect my RP consumption. It's all based on your hammer and your own personal luck. I say as I 
get three scrap iron. <laughs> Actually, while I'm here, I might as well do this as well. I need a char, so let's do this. There we go. I'll get more later, but that's enough time spent here. I need more of the elemental stones. If I can get my hands on more of the elemental stones, then I'll be pretty much set. I'm slowly trying to get my hands on everything that I'll need for later in the game when I can actually start doing crafting, which, I mean, everyone here knows you can do crafting. It's in the skill list. They wouldn't put it in there if it was useless. I say as the first game had a bunch of items that you couldn't ship, despite them being on the ship list. Okay, four-leaf clover. I'm thoroughly pleased. Hello. Good afternoon. How's life at the farm? Have you heard the rumor about the flower that resembles a face? Yes, I have. We talked about this last episode. In a different timeline. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, good day. Oh, Kai, listen to this. I've just started trying to grow my own peppers. We have talked about this multiple times. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, hello, I'm Max. Have you ever heard of an instrument called the piano? Yes, we've talked about this many times. How can I possibly... Oh, wait, I'm Max. I forgot. <laughs> Uh. So, Max and I are not super close friends in this timeline, because I have gotten none of the Proof of Warriors necessary to become his friend. Okay. House Sitter Wanted. Uh, I don't remember this request, and I'm not sure if it's an overnight thing. So we'll do that another time. We need to go see Dorothy anyway. So now seems as good a time as any. Right. Let's do this. Leroy and Jenkins. Here's your charm. This is very nice. Uh, hello, Kyle. Uh, well, you see, Fern is... That doll of yours, right, Dorothy? So, what's happened to Fern? Fern wants to talk- Oh, I haven't done this one. Never mind, I've already done this. Give me a moment. I- This was towards the end of the last episode, so when I was watching this episode and prepping with this stuff, I guess I hadn't done this part yet. I got to this part. Oops, sorry. Thank you for coming along with me. You're a good person, Kyle. Oh, you're sweet. Uh, while we're in the area, I don't think I ever gave Mana her daily gift. Thank you. Hi there. Say, Kyle, are you interested in fashion? Do you know what's popular in other towns? Oh, well, I don't have any memories, so I can't really help you. Ah, uh, of course, sorry. To be fair, I don't exactly act like an amnesiac. I'm very self-certain. Yeah, Dorothy didn't have anything new for us. Um, let's help out Yue. Yue will probably be the girl we finish first. We get up to ten because it's really easy to get her gift. Speaking of her gift... I have one. You can't have my aquamarine. Thank you. Kyle, you hear about my request on the bulletin board? Just to be safe, I need you to promise to keep every word I say a complete secret. Uh, I won't tell anyone. Lately, I've been doing a lot of business in a large town called Green Lake. Every time I go there for business, this nobleman comes up to me. Caesar is his name. You see, he's really got—he's gotten really attached to me. 
And by attached, I mean, uh, he forts with me shamelessly. I mean, he forts with a lot of girls, but he seems to pay special attention to me. Of course, I'm not interested at all. He's, he's just a spoiled, wealthy playboy. He wouldn't know an honest day's work if it bit him on the nose. But he just can't seem to take a hint. I thought if I told him I had a boyfriend, he'd leave me alone, but when I did, when I told him, he looked me right in the eyes and said, Then prove it, my darling flower. There's such a thing as being too persistent, you know? But if I can give him some kind of proof, maybe he'll leave, finally leave me alone. It might be my only chance to get him to understand. So of course, I don't really have a boyfriend, but all I need to do is make it look like I do. I'll bet an engagement ring would work. I need a big, fancy engagement ring to show that I'm engaged to somebody wealthy and powerful. That might be enough to scare Caesar off, but that'll be really expensive. That's the point, though. If but that'll be very... I don't know who was supposed to say that. But if I buy a cheap ring, Caesar will know that I bought it just to throw him off. That's where I need your help, Kyle. I need you to help me raise the money I need to buy an engagement ring. I need 1,000 G. Do you think you can help me? Please? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh... I'm curious what this says. But I don't want to be mean. I'll figure out what it says and put it on screen here. Thank you, you're the best, Kyle. You're such a good person. As for your reward, you'll have to make do with this. Mwah. Uh, thank you. Uh, wow. Mm. It's all I can afford right now, but it does come straight from my heart. A kiss on the cheek. That's cute. <laughs> uh, Yue's adorable. I love her. She's fantastic. I don't know who else to help today. I guess Egan. This will probably be my last request for today. Or, no, there was going to be one more after this. Hello, Egan. I saw your message on the board. Ah, thanks for showing up. I need a favor from you. It looks like I'm nearly out of some important ingredients. I was hoping you could go tell Cecilia to bring some toy herbs when she has the chance. Got it. So just go tell Cecilia, right? That's it. Thank you so much. Cecilia! Your uncle says to help. Egan asked me to give you a message for him, Cecilia. He asked if you could bring him some toy herbs since he's run out, almost run out. I see. Thank you, Kyle. I'll be on my way then. I'll be on my way then. What? No, what? Whoever's saying words. Egan! She says yes! I gave Cecilia the message. Oh, you did? Thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. Please take this for your trouble. 500 G. Thank you. No, no. Thank you. Alright. The final request I'm going to do... Julia! I want to talk! Julia, I saw your message on the board. You said that you've got some new soap? Ah, uh, you saw it. Yeah, I decided to change things up a bit, but I'm not sure if it was the right choice. If it's the soap, you can smell the faintest touch of herbs. It smells really nice. Doesn't it? Go ahead, give it a, sh give it a try and let me know what you think. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Scrubba scrubba. How is it? Mm, well... It feels nice. I think it feels really nice. Yay, thank you! It was really hard work bringing out the smell. <sighs> making soap is so hard. And I just can't keep on making things if nobody says anything nice about them. <laughs> it so kind of sounds like you're making things just so people will praise you. No, that's not it at all. I'm just trying to make soaps that will make my customers happy. Being praised is the last thing on my mind. Really? Really? I see. 
You know, you know what? It's fine. At any rate, thanks for letting me know what you think. Here, here's a little something for your trouble. A fruit sandwich. It's really tasty, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Oh yes, and here's some wood. I figured you might be able to and find some use for it. That puts us almost at a thousand, I think. Thank you. Okay, I'll be counting on you if I ever need help again. I should probably go check that. How close am I? I am currently at 1,084 wood. 28 feed. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, give me one second. Fruit sandwich. Fruit placed between slices of bread. Its refreshing taste makes it a tasty snack. 1150. This is a decent little chunk of money. We're gonna be selling it. So that gets out of their ship list. Like I said, things are not accurate how they were. For instance, I apparently hadn't shipped a bamboo sprout. Crisp and aromatic. Grows fast, covering the fields during spring. The issue is that I can't seem to find a lot of things. I have... I on screen never went through and showed my entire list. So I'm not sure everything that I shipped. For instance, I haven't gone through and done one of the uh, neutralizers again. And weirdly, on this playthrough, I never needed a neutralizer. Not once. There was no poison in any of the fields I had access to. That's odd to me. <laughs> um, I also got a fall flounder, which I shipped, and the salmon, just like last time. I apparently never got a sardine last time, so I'll have to cover that at some point. And one thing that I'm sure a couple of you noticed in my pause menu at one point or another, Oh, it's not in here. Never mind, scratch what I said. Give me just one moment. A lover snapper, a rare breed of snapper, so rare that its very existence is debated among fishermen. Size 36, level 3, 530. I caught this from the pond, uh, Ovarna Pond. I, I don't know why I managed it this time. I managed it almost immediately and then have gotten nothing of any value from there since. I've been fishing in there for the last 12 days. Yeah, I don't know, man. It, it's weird. Random chance and all that. We got that ship, though, so... Alright, time to take care of my fields. So here, I went through and I planted all of the phantom crops, because I will be done with them by the end of this year. And up here, I was using as a rune factory, just growing a bunch of moon drops. Oh. I mean... No idea what level that is, but, you know, why not grab it? Gem time! Not the gem I was looking for. That's the one. And another mining level up. Because nice. So every day I'm breaking these just for experience. Every time I come through here at least. So I'm used to having the uh, square on the indicator to know where I'm hitting. So it's weird not having it on, I just think it does look better without it. So when I'm actually aiming, I'll try to keep that on. Oh, right, what am I doing? Um... Well, okay. It lagged for a second, that's weird. Haven't had any lag in the past. Uh, I apparently need to clean out. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop this. If there's gold, I'll drop something for it, but otherwise I'll just, you know. Silver. Iron. Iron. Okay. I'm growing two sets of turnips up here, daikon radish, and leek, I think was the other one? 
think, at least. White cabbage over here, which I haven't plucked up any. So I haven't actually shipped those like I had last time. Hot, hot fruit. Uh, one of the, I think, the other two sets of uh, phantom crops. Not sure. At least one phantom crop right here. Which I would say were probably white crystal flowers. I think, if, if you know, that's what memory serves. No luck today, wild. Oh, wow, my luck's bad today, apparently. Okay, never mind. I have four sets of these growing, but I actually need to swap one out because I still haven't planted one of my phantom crops here. I just wanted to grow those because they were renewable. Then right over here are my other two sets. Sylvie, so, let's go. Onward to adventure. Yeah, my luck is just really bad today. Because a lot of these days I've been getting a bunch of gold and stuff. I'll have to farm the goblins at one point, but I'll probably start doing that tomorrow. I have a reason for not doing it today. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Okay, wolf fangs, an incredibly sharp fang, can take out a prey in a its prey yeah, can take out prey in a single strike. Insect skin, the shed the shed skin of an insect. Surprisingly tough considering how light it is. Arrowhead, rusted through and pretty much useless. May shine if polished up, however. Glue, made by soaking hides in water and then boiling them. How many uses has many uses as an adhesive. Aquamarine I'm not shipping because I want a daily gift. If I get a second one tomorrow, like if I get two or something, then I can ship. Water crystal, a fragile crystal in the shape of a water droplet. Handle with care. Strong string, very elastic and quite hard to cut. Cheap cloth, poor quality cloth, easily torn. Bronze, a metal ore used to make weapons and accessories, can be found in abundance anywhere. Ruby, a crimson jewel. The most valuable ones create a star of refracted light inside. Represents passion. I don't know what I've shipped and what I haven't. So anything I don't need, I'm just throwing in here. Because I am out of space, and trying to get all the items I need is tough. Autumn grass. Finally, my water pot finishes. I don't have anything left to do for the rest of the day. So, it would make sense for me just to grind on the goblins. Wow, we both failed. This is what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day today. So, again, just a bit of speed up here. If I find any fruit warriors or anything, I'll be sure to show that off, and that's very awesome. Because, as is, I need a lot of items. This part of the game is a fairly easy part in comparison. But that doesn't mean I should just be complacent and just be like, haha, this will be easy, the next part, like, the rest of the game will be super easy. No, it gets tough. Like, this game can get pretty rough on you if you're not prepared. So now, I just keep on moving. Out of RP. I only need six Roof of Warrior, apparently. Wild. Everything has that same gift for Max. Both now and in the future. Four and three. Five and three. If I can get one more of the level ones, then I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Um, you're not who I want to fight. Well, now that I've thoroughly humiliated myself... Sucks to suck. Alright guys, this is where we're going to call it quits here. I'm going to get myself sick by just...
just wasting away until 5 a.m. And you guys are going to have a good old time seeing me be sick and then getting cured by the powerful doctor slash rich person slash rumor believer, also known as Rosalind. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I see you all next time. Which isn't going to be in three or six or nine months or whenever else, because I'm back, baby. <laughs>